Jim Harbaugh decided to name two quarterbacks as his starters. And I found this very interesting and a lot of fun. And the reason I found this interesting and fun was because he named Cade McNamara the starter for week one. He named J.J. McCarthy the starter for week two. Uh, One is playing against Colorado State. The other was playing against Hawaii. And effectively, I think he did this to tell everybody to quit asking him who's going to be the starter. I think they don't know who's going to be the starter. Uh, Nick Saban used to do this all the time, right? Where they would have multiple guys listed as the starter, and you would get to week one. Remember, he famously did this with Blake Barnett and Jalen Hurts, etc. Blake Barnett came in, looked like a deer in headlights. Jalen Hurts took over the offense against USC. The rest was history. Uh, but you will see this over and over again. He did it with Jalen Hurts and Tua uh, early in that season, in 2018, I guess it was, whatever. Like, this is a this is a weird tactic. I think he just wants to see J.J. McCarthy have some starting experience, give him an opportunity to see what he looks like when he is the guy with the ones all week, etc., I, he didn't have to say anything about this. He didn't have to come out and say anything. I think this was his way of telling the media, hey, we're going to give both guys an opportunity, and we don't think that Colorado State or Hawaii can play with us. So we're just going to give both of them a shot to be the starter heading into those weeks. I don't dislike the idea. I think this is a pretty smart idea when you think about it to give both of them equal opportunity in a different kind of setting. Because inside the practice field setting, It's different when you're running with the ones as opposed to the twos. So you want to see exactly what they look like in those situations. And yes, you're already doing it in fall camp. We get that. But now you're heading into game week. Game week, a little bit different setup. I'm curious. I'm curious what this is going to look like. I want to see J.J. McCarthy. I think he has a higher ceiling than Cade McNamara. But the other side of this is that McNamara, of course, the veteran presence less likely to make the mistake that is going to hurt you. Everybody remembers J.J. McCarthy making the mistake against Michigan State last year. All in all, I still think he is a way higher ceiling, a way more explosive player, but is he going to do that thing that can cost you the game? That's where the question comes from. So I think it's a good idea for Harbaugh. I think Michigan is doing the right thing here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.